Did I mention when I go off a low buy? I go off a low buy. Hey everyone, I'm Wago Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. This here is an Ulta haul, and it looks way bigger than it actually is. And the only reason I did an Ulta haul is because during the Sephora VIB sale, the main thing I wanted to purchase was sold out. So of course, I had to go see, hey, what's on sale at Ulta? <laughs> this wasn't on sale at Ulta. However, they were running a deal where if you spent like $50, you got $5 off your order. If you spent 70, you got 10. Or don't quote me on those exact amounts. But if you spent $100, you got $20 off your order, which made this one product 30% off instead of the 15% off I would have received using my VIB status at Sephora. So, blah, 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 long story short, here is an Ulta haul. Now, while I was doing my haul, I discovered a brand I've never heard of. And it's a very discounted or drugstore-ish type brand, which I will share with you when I actually open this box. But what was exciting is they were having a sale where if you bought five products, it only cost $10. So basically $2 per product. So of course I'm like, what is this brand? Who cares? There's only $10. Let me buy some and check it out. By the way, in case you're wondering why I look a little cray cray, um, I have most of my makeup on, but not all of it. Uh, no eyes, no lips, because can you guess? Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing some try-ons of some of the products I received in this haul. All right, so let's start with the brand that was having a sale where you could buy five products for only $10. That brand is called Sweet and Shimmer. So the first product I picked up is this eyeshadow stick here. This is in the shade. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to go with pink. I want to say they only had two shades or at least that was available on Ulta. Uh, this kind of pinky soft shimmer, and then I wanna say like a gold shade. By the way, this brand retails for $4.99. I wanna say all of the products that they carry are $4.99, don't quote me on that. But to be able to try a $5 product, which isn't that expensive, but to do it for $2, I'm like, yes, please. All right, let's see if my twist trick will work on this one. It comes with like saran wrap or plastic. That is, okay, there we go. Just keep twisting and you'll eventually, there we go. All right, so it's your standard kind of twist up. It's giving kind of ColourPop vibes. Let me do a swatch. All right, so it's right there. It's a nice pink shimmer. Ooh, that will make any eye look pop or if you want a quick one and done. I then decided to get one of their eyeshadow palettes, which online looked a lot larger than this. Not, I wasn't expecting like full size, full size, but this is a little smaller, um, which is fine. It was $2. Um, this is the color story, just a bunch of random shades. We have a lime green, which is interesting, um, and some neutral shades. I really got it for the neutral shades, and it was $2. All right, to me, as expected, the uh, shadows are not super pigmented. We have a couple of matte shades, and then the rest are pretty much shimmer shades. Uh, light green, light silver, uh, orange, or kind of goldish shade, and yeah, one that is so light it matches my skin tone. I then saw this lip gloss, lip balm kind of stacker, and I thought, wow, for $2 and you get four different shades of pink, might as well give that one a try. And as if that wasn't enough pink lip gloss, I had to pick this one up. Uh, you know, I like a product that actually comes with a doe foot. Again, only $2. And by the way, they had 75 products. So it was really hard for me to narrow it down. But the last product I selected from Sweet and Shimmer is this duo. It's a coconut frosted hand cream and shimmer lip balm set. Can you tell I love lip products? All right, those products were just a bonus because it was such a good sale. Now on to actually what I intended on purchasing in that haul. So this is 
well packaged in case it were to leak. This here is from CeraVe and it's a healing ointment. It protects and soothes dry, cracked, and chafed skin. I did not buy this to do such a thing. Someone I was following online, I can't remember right now, said that this is really good to put underneath your eyes, almost like a barrier or protection that will give moisture and act kind of like as a primer so that concealers won't sink into your fine lines. Does it work? I don't know. But I figured a CeraVe ointment, if it doesn't work there, I could use it on my hands and feet and it's not a complete waste. But let me know if you've heard of that witchcraft and if you've tried it, let me know if it works. This here is from Milani and it is a lipstick in the shade 26 Nude Creme. Can you guess what shade it's gonna be? Yes, a nudie pink. I then went ahead and restocked the Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara. This I use as a topper mascara. And again, I was influenced. Um, I had to pick up this Milani product here to try it out. This is the Conceal and Perfect Under Eye Brightener. And I got it in the shade 01 Rose. And last but not least, this is what inspired the Ulta haul because Sephora had it sold out. I bet you can guess it without me showing it. Here's the box. Do you know what it is? I'm pretty certain just about all of you are going to know what that is before I even take it out of the box. Why, yes, it's a palette from Miss Natasha Denona. And it was the big one that came out, I don't know, in the spring that I said I would wait and wait and wait and I wasn't going to get, but I might get it if it's on sale, blah, blah, blah. This here is the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. Her packaging is so spectacular. It's hefty, weighty, really nice kind of, I don't want to say 3D, but there's a design underneath this thick plastic coating. And then in the back, I don't know if you're aware, those little holes, that's so you can poke out the shadow pan and if you wanted to rearrange them or put them elsewhere. Yes, my queen, she opens it up all the way, comes with a mirror. I was worried it might have been broken. It was not. Here are the gorgeous colors, which you could have called this palette I Need a Nude just about as well. These are nice, beautiful, warm nudes. My perfect color story. All right, I think I'm going to do a separate video using the Natasha Denona palette because that way if anyone is curious about the palette itself they could see that separate video and not have to sit through an Ulta haul um, but I think I will go ahead and try out this little teeny tiny palette from Sweet and Shimmer but I do want to first try the Milani under eye brightener it has like a sponge tip, so it's similar to the Maybelline and like Charlotte Tilbury. So let's see if we can squeeze a little bit up, but not too much. There we go. All right. I'm just going for it. Gonna... Okay, yes. It's a very similar color to the Catrice. Um, I will do a swatch if anyone has... Um, glommed on to using the Catrice, which I really like, but the lazy girl factor of this one intrigued me. All right, so that seemed to be very light. Let me use my left hand and put a little bit over here. Seems to have a little more shimmer than the Catrice one. All right, hopefully my lights aren't too bright. So here is the Milani and here is the Catrice. They are very similar in shade. The Milani has a little more glow, barely, but I like my under eyes to have that brightening effect, so we shall see. Now, this one's going to get me in trouble as well, because when you first apply it, it kind of makes it seem like you're wearing concealer, because it does kind of hide the uh, darkness, but not full coverage, so let me quickly get some concealer on before I forget. All right, 
concealer is on. Let's do a very quick eye look. I'm going to go into this lightest shade here because it wasn't very pigmented, at least not on the back of my hand, so it's going to make a really nice transition shade. Ooh, yes. I like the tone of that. It's not too warm, not too cool. It's a nice neutral. It's very reminiscent when I use a um, bronzer to lazy girl style it. You know, you're running out the door, you don't have time to do an eye look. You have your bronzer out and you're like, well, let me just throw a little in the crease. That's the shade that's giving. I'm going to just put the same color underneath my lash line because we don't have a lot of mattes to work with. And yeah. Not seeing it so much under my eyes, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to grab a different brush and go into the little itty bitty teeny weeny darker shade. And it seemed like the darker the shade, the less pigment it had. A um, little powdery, not a problem. Just gonna tap a little, yeah. Not super pigmented, but what do you expect for $2? Although full price would be five bucks. So I would say just with the first impression, based on price and the size, you're better off spending $1.25 at the Dollar Tree getting a LA Colors palette. You can get a 12 pound palette um, at the Dollar Tree from LA Colors for less than this, but for $2, it was worth testing out. Just gonna blend that. All right, very quick. And now I'm gonna go into this shimmer shade here. Ooh, I got that pink one. Hmm, all right, I'm gonna put this all over the lid and I'll probably use that pink one separately because the pink won't blend with this because I just put the orangey, peachy, gold one on. I don't know. Give me a second here. Eh. I'm not leaving the house. And I don't feel like filming a separate video just for these five products. Actually, only four makeup products because the other one is just like a hand cream. Alright. Do I want to draw this on or use a brush? Let's go lazy girl style. All right, I'm gonna start kind of in the center there. Ooh, yes. It's very pretty. It's just not gonna match the color tone, but that's okay. Ooh. This is total lazy girl style, one and done, just, and you don't even need a brush or your finger, really. Look at that. Can you see? Okay. This is a steal. I would say this is even worth the $4.99. All right, let's test out the Milani lipstick. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I like this color. Uh, my, uh, it's more orangey, peachy undertones than soft, pinky, Cool tone. I don't know. The picture online made it look a lot lighter than this. You all are going to be like, girl, it looks great on you. Mm. But that's okay because does that have a scent? It does have a scent. Don't ask me of what. Not obnoxious. A little bit of fruity, but I can't pinpoint the fruit. All right, let's now try this on top. Again, with the plastic around it, just twist till you hear that breaking noise. Oh, just like at the Dollar Tree, it has a very, very tiny doe foot. Not my favorite because you have to dip in 15 times just to get enough product, but it was only $2. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. For $2, I can deal with that. Maybe. That was such little product. Now, even though it looks Barbie doll pink, it's pretty much clear. Feels very comfortable, almost like a lip oil. It's very slippy, very comfortable. I would skip just for the mere fact 
that has a super tiny doe foot. Or go to the Dollar Tree and get the LA Colors lip glosses. Those are nicer than this one. Let me do my eyeliner offline and then I'll come back and give my final thoughts. Yay, eyeliner. I always feel naked without my eyeliner. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's quickly open this up and see if the coconut scent is just as good as I'm hoping it's gonna be. I love the scent of coconut. <laughs> I thought this was the lip balm and this was the hand cream and I was about to say, wow, I'm shocked that the lip balm's larger. No, no, no. This is the hand cream and this is the lip balm, which makes more sense now because it's in a little squeezy tube. You won't be able to see it. It's just clear. It has a subtle scent of coconut. I don't want to put it on my lips just because I'm going to get the applicator all pink, but let's sniff the hand cream. It loosely has a little lid here. Um, not safety sealed per se. Instead of one of those plastic toppers, it's like a foil on paper. But let's take a sniff. It smells very similar. Well, I got swatches everywhere. All right, let's, oh, it feels very nice. It's, it's loose, if that makes sense. It's, yeah, okay. We're just gonna go on the palms of my hands. Let's see if it feels sticky or tacky. It's a very, very soft, subtle coconut. All right, so I think this was a good deal because you got two products for the $2. Hand cream, very small, but this is above average size for a lip balm, so this is a win. I think the cream eyeshadow stick is a win. What do we think? I'd say the lip gloss you could pass, not because the formula is bad, but because of such a small applicator and literally you have to dunk in like five to six times. I'll circle back in a different video and give my thoughts on this product. So far so good. I'm loving this Lazy Girl approved applicator. I'd say you could pass on this eyeshadow palette. It's just not super pigmented and super small. If you find the deal where you get five products for $10, sure pick it up. But at $5, pass. The Milani lipstick, not my favorite shade. One of the problems with shopping online, the pictures look one way, you get it, you put it on your own lips. Mm, super excited and curious to try the hack about putting this under my eyes. And I will do a complete eye look with the I Need a Warm palette. Let me know if you have the palette and if so, how much you love it or if you have regrets. I'm just happy I was able to save $20. All right, I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click the bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a big favor, clicking on the thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.